with a, so a soft, a soft, a soft satin finish. Hey guys, welcome back. So I had several requests on my New at the Drugstore Wet n Wild video to do a separate review and demo on the foundation, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. So I'm doing that for you guys today. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and throw in the concealer and the powder as well, just so you guys can see me applying that, kind of like see the progress and how it all looks together. So I'm gonna do like I normally do in my review videos. We'll talk about the claims of these products. I'll show you a demo and then I'll wrap up at the end and let you know how do they deliver on those claims and what do I think about them? So let's get to it. Okay, first starting with the foundation. This is the Photo Focus Foundation and it is $5.99, so super affordable, which is nice. And from what I can tell, there are 20 different shades on the Wet n Wild website, so that's really nice. I got the shade Soft Ivory, which is the third from the lightest, which is I'm usually like towards the light end of a shade range, maybe like the second or third in, but this is actually still really fair on me. So I could have gone deeper into the range. So if you are really porcelain complected, I think they will have options for you in this range. Looks like they have some really nice medium tones, some really beautiful deep tones. So it does seem like they have a good shade option. So I like that a lot, a good shade range option. Okay, these are the claims from the Wet n Wild website says, your skin only better. Our new high-performing skin perfecting foundation underwent major road testing under seven different lighting, photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless camera ready makeup every time. Specially made with a matte light diffusing complex to give your skin no filter perfection. High-performing breakthrough formula featuring light adjusting complex to help prevent white cast in photos. Tested under seven light conditions with and without the use of flash. So it sounds like they really put this through a lot of testing. So those are the claims on the foundation. Then we have the concealer. This is the Photo Focus Concealer, and this is $3.99, also super affordable. Looks like there are six different shade options in this range, and I got the shade Light Ivory, which is the lightest. I went with that, and this definitely works for me. Um, it says, as far as claims, it says, let your natural beauty shine with our selfie tested creamy and luminous concealer tested to be white cast free under seven different photo lighting conditions this high coverage concealer allows only your best features to get noticed gorgeous skin will be your only look so that's the claims on the concealer and then the powder this is the photo focus pressed powder and it is 4.99 and it looks like there are eight different shade options for this it says, your smartphone just met its makeup match. Pack this genius pressed powder in your bag for endlessly amazing photos every time. Light diffusing pigments give your skin a veil of silky, natural looking perfection in photos and in real life. Wear it alone, on bare skin, or over photo focus foundation for a flawless finish. Sets makeup with an unbelievably soft satin finish. Reduces shine throughout the day. Each shade covers a range of skin tones. So that's the claims on the powder. Okay, so I've already applied a light moisturizer to both sides of my face. Now I like to wear this with a primer, but I'm gonna show you both ways. So I'm gonna show you on this side with a primer and the other side without a primer. I don't think you're gonna be able to necessarily see the difference, but I wear primers with most foundations now and I like this one with a primer, but I don't notice like necessarily a huge difference, but I think primer in general just helps with longevity. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little spatula thingy and I'm just gonna start dabbing this all over my face and just get it on there. And maybe a little bit in my hair too, apparently. <laughs> I mentioned this in my Wet n Wild video. This does have a paint kind of a smell. It does dissipate. I mean, so it's not like it's the end of the world, but I mean, when you're, you know, putting it on your face and just sniffing it, I mean, it, you just smell it. It smells like paint. Okay, for the left side of my face, I'm gonna use a brush. This is my Sephora Mineral Powder 45 brush. And I'm just gonna start rubbing this in. I probably should have done my dabbing, like one side of my face dab and then the next side of my face dab. Probably shouldn't have gone ahead and done all this, but that's okay. This is a little bit light for me, but it can work when it's all said and done. 
So as you can see, I mean, it really does blend in and a little bit does go a pretty long way. It has kind of like a light to medium and then buildable beyond that sort of a coverage. I'd say tops it gets to a, like a full, not a full medium, but like a, a good medium coverage. And now I'm gonna do my beauty blender side. This is definitely way too light for me, but I guessed and I guessed wrong. <laughs> Okay, so there is what that looks like. So you can see the brush side definitely has more coverage. Um, the Beauty Blender side is definitely lighter coverage. So it's really just gonna be a personal preference of if you like to use a Beauty Blender and how much coverage you like. I prefer it with a brush, um, but I think it still works nicely with a Beauty Blender. It's just my preferred way to apply foundation is to use a brush. So I just prefer a brush. So there is that. I'm gonna add a little bit more on this side and I'll be right back. So here is a second coat with the Beauty Blender. So now they're a little bit more evened out, still a little bit more coverage on the brush side. So you can see it's a very kind of like skin-like satin matte sort of a finish, not like a dry powdery sort of a matte, but also not um, dewy either. It's just kind of in that very skin-like satin matte sort of a finish to it. So I really, really like how it looks on the skin. Um, as I use this more, I'm liking this foundation a lot more. So just looking at it now, I'm like, I really do like this. I think it looks very nice, um, very natural, but also helps to even everything out. And you do have some options with um, either just apply less and maybe with a beauty blender, you'll get lighter coverage or apply more with a brush and you'll get more of a medium, like a really good medium coverage. So now onto the concealer. For the concealer, I'm gonna use my Beauty Junkies Mini Angled Brush and I'm just going to take this and do a little bit of a V underneath my eye. I have really, really been liking this concealer. A little bit down the middle part of my face. Definitely more of a, I'd say medium coverage, but I don't notice that I have to use multiple concealers when I use this, so I like that about it. And I'm just using a brush to apply this because I never use beauty blenders to apply my concealer. That's just not, not my normal way of doing things, so that would be very out of the norm for me, so I wouldn't really even be able to know how that's going because I don't have any frame of reference since I don't normally do that. So there is just one coat of that concealer. So you can see it has really good coverage. I feel like it really hides my under eye discoloration, um, helps to kind of even out around my nose and my chin. It just has a really good coverage to it and I find that it blends well. It is more of a dry formula, but I don't mind that about it. I don't think that it's really like collecting into fine lines or anything, um, but it's not a hydrating concealer. It's not that. Um, it's just that really nice coverage, um, creamy sort of a concealer. And now I'm gonna set with the powder, the Photo Focus Pressed Powder. Under my eyes, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Blush Brush and do some quick setting. I really um, don't apply a lot of powder ever with any kind of powder. I just don't prefer a lot of powder. So um, if anything, I apply a little bit more in my T-zone like I can tell I'm doing now. But the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my Real Techniques blush brush. The rest of my face, I just kind of lightly apply it and get it on there. So I don't like to use a ton and this powder, you know, works well for something like that. And there is with the powder. So you can kind of see all three of them together on my face and I just feel like they work so nicely together. They really just give this beautiful canvas for the rest of your makeup. It's very skin-like, um, not overly matte, but not overly um, dewy or anything, just kind of right in between, very kind of satin finish is how I would describe it all. 
but I love the look of it when it's all together, all three situations applied on the face. I think it looks really, really nice. So I'm gonna um, finish up the rest. What am I doing? I forgot what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back with some more thoughts. Okay, let's talk about the claims on the foundation. So the main claims on the foundation and really all three of these products in general is that they look really nice in photos, really nice on camera, that they don't cause flashback, they've been tried under different lighting conditions, and that your skin just looks good pretty much all the time since they've tried all the different lighting conditions. And in my opinion, I feel like it really delivers on that. I think it looks really nice in pictures. It doesn't cause flashback. It looks really nice under flash photography. I really don't ever use flash for pictures anymore, to be honest. So that was kind of like, I don't know, a step back. Like, oh man, I haven't taken a flash picture in a while. So I took a flash picture, really didn't notice any flashback with it. Um, but I just feel like in real life and on camera, it just looks very, very nice on the skin. It does say with a matte light diffusing complex, I would say it's more of a satin matte because it doesn't look super duper matte where it's like dry looking. Um, so that's what I do like about it. It looks more skin like to me. So yes, it's, it's towards matte, less so than dewy. It's more towards matte, um, but I wouldn't say it's that dry looking matte. It's more of a skin like satin matte sort of a finish to it. So really looking back at all the claims, I feel like it delivers on all those. Now let's talk about a few more things. How does this wear throughout the day for me? This wears really well. I'm really super impressed with the wear on it. Now I've tried this both with this powder and also other powders. I feel like this foundation itself wears well. Now we'll talk about the powder in a second. But when I've tried it under different scenarios with different powders, it's just worn well. It doesn't make me super dewy throughout the day. It doesn't break down on me. It just sticks around and it looks really nice. So I love the longevity of it. I'm really loving this foundation. The more that I use it, the more that I love it. Really the only negative that I have to say about it is the scent. Is that kind of paint like smell. And really that's, that's not a deal breaker for me. Like it goes away. It's not the end of the world. Do I wish it didn't smell like paint that I would put on my walls? Yes, but it's not a game changer for me. So loving this foundation. Okay, claims on the concealer. So first off it says selfie tested, creamy and luminous concealer. Creamy, yes. I think it has a really nice texture to it. Very creamy feeling. Blends into the skin really nicely. It reminds me a lot of the Maybelline Fit Me concealers and the NARS Creamy Radiant concealers. So that sort of a texture and finish and feel on the skin. So if you like those, I think you'll really like this one. If you don't like those, I don't think you'll like this one. Now as far as luminous, I wouldn't say this is luminous. I would say it's more satin, skin-like, because it's not, when I think of luminous, I think of like hydrating. That's not necessarily always the case, but I just think towards that, like a, a dewy, luminous, hydrating sort of a concealer. I wouldn't say that, the, that this is that situation. It's more of that creamy, um, medium to full coverage, kind of like the NARS Creamy Radiant and the Maybelline Fit Me, which I love. Those two, I'm loving this one. Love the way it looks on the skin, love how it blends, love the coverage. That's another thing it says is that it is high coverage concealer. Yes, I think it has really nice coverage. Um, it's, uh, it's really hiding my under eye discoloration, really hiding like discoloration on my chin and just kind of evening everything out. I'm loving this, really, really enjoying it. And then it also says again about how it looks on um, film and pictures under lighting conditions. I think it looks great on film and in pictures and it just makes your skin look nice. So I'm liking this too. Now it claims on the powder. So again, it's saying it looks really nice in film. I think it does look really nice in pictures under a flash photo, it looks nice. So I think it delivers on that. Now it does say sets makeup with an unbelievably soft satin finish. Yes, but then it says reduces shine throughout the day. I don't find that to be true. Um, for me, this is more of, I was trying to think about it when I first did my Wet n Wild um, video. It's not like it's dewy, but I get dewy really quickly. Like even from the time I just filmed my demo to now, I'm already starting to look shiny on my forehead. 
and this is the powder that I'm wearing. And that's why I think it's this powder doing that more so than the foundation, because I've tried the foundation with other powders and it's not done this as quickly. I think it's this powder. I think it just starts to make me look shiny more quickly. Um, so I think this is again gonna be personal preference. Like, do you like a more dewy look in a powder? Because that's what it does on me with my combo oily skin. So this might perform differently on different skin types, but for me, I would not say that it reduces shine. Um, I do think it starts out with a, so a soft, a soft, a soft satin finish. A soft satin finish. I think it does start out with that, but I think it moves towards being glowy, dewy really quickly, at least on my skin. Now, as far as texture, really nice, um, soft, very light texture to it. Not like a ton of coverage. I don't like to use a lot of powder, so I do like the um, texture of this powder and how it feels on the skin. So I like it when I first apply it. I really do like how it looks at the beginning, but I just don't like how it wears on my skin. So of the three, this is the one that I'm not in love with, um, but some people may really like it depending on what they're looking for in a powder and their skin type. All right guys, so a quick wrap up. I'm really, really enjoying this foundation. I feel like I've really fallen in love with it. I think it just looks so beautiful on the skin. Um, I think this will work for most people. I'm not really sure how this is gonna work on super dry skin, like dry patches, because I don't have dry patches, so I really can't speak to that. But I bet if you use a beauty blender, it won't be much of a problem. But I really do feel like this will work for most people. Um, if you're just looking for that kind of satin, natural skin-like sort of a foundation. I think you'd really like it. I really do love this concealer. Like I said, if you like those other ones that I mentioned, I think you'll really like this. But if you are looking for more of a hydrating, lighter feeling sort of a concealer, you may not be a big fan of this, but I love it. The powder, I'm not so much in love with this, but some people may really like it if you like that more kind of dewy look on the skin. Um, at least that's my experience. I find it to be more dewy after I wear it a little bit. So I think this might just have to be a try it for yourself because I've watched some other reviews and they don't seem to be all the same. So it may kind of depend on your particular skin type. But for me, it's a little bit too dewy. All right, guys, so that wraps up this review and demo. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please leave a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below if you've tried these products. What do you think about them? Share your skin type and kind of what your experience has been with these. I think that would be really helpful for everybody reading in the comments. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.